Hello YouTubers, Buster Gundo here. The current time is 7.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Today's date, September the 4th, 2024. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about an article coming from Bounding Into Comics titled Shadows of the Dam Creators Suda51 and Shinji Mikami Slam Video Game Censorship. Quote, those who do not play games try to prevent people from enjoying the game. End quote. Written by Spencer... But coolly, September the 2nd, 2024. Like most players who actually care about video games and not just how they can use it as a platform to signal how good of a person they supposedly are, storied Shadows of the Dan creators Koichi Suda51, Suda, and Shinji Mikami are not fans of the ongoing attempts, particularly of those made by the Japanese government to censor the media. Suda51, perhaps best known as the director of such titles as Killer7, Lollipop Chainsaw, and the No More Hero series, and Mikami, whose players may recognize as the director of Resident Evil 4, God Hand, and Vanquish, offered their thoughts on the topic during a recent interview given to the Japanese Video games news outlet GameSpark, in reflection of the upcoming Hella Remastered release of their aforementioned action adventure collaboration, Shadows of the Damned. Following a brief discussion on the improvements made to Hella Remastered compared to the original 2011 version of the game, namely improved textures and keyboard and mouse support, as machine translated by Deep L, the two creators were met by their previous admonishment of content, quote, quote, regulations, speaking to the Japanese outlet Game Watch at the time of the original Shadows of the Damn release, Mikami specifically appointed, quote, I feel that the scope of what is allowed in Japan is narrower than what is allowed overseas. Compared to the freedom allowed in other countries, Japan's is narrow. In an age when the internet is so widespread, I have the feeling of why are you saying this now? End quote. To which they were asked if their current thoughts on the topic were the same as they were back then. In turn, Mikami asserted, quote, My thinking has not changed at all since then. I think it is a strange situation when there are customers who want to enjoy a game with a unique aspect, and those who do not play games try to prevent people from enjoying the game by restricting their enjoyment of the work through regulations. Quote, that's right, end quote, added Suda, quote, if regulations are imposed, we have no choice but to respond to them as part of our job, but I always wonder what people who play games would think, end quote, quote, for example, quote, he continued, quote, if a lot of people buy the PC version of this game on Steam because they want to play it without restrictions, it would be a bit sad, even though it is available on a variety of platforms. It makes me wonder what the restrictions are for. Who are these restrictions aimed at? I feel at the very least they are not aimed at customers who play games. To this end, Mikami then raised the example of Dead Space, which at the time of its initial release, quote, could not be released in Japan due to regulations. So if you wanted to play it in Japan, you had to get the overseas version somehow, end quote. Quote, at that time, I had the opportunity to talk with people at the development studio in the U.S., and quote, the original Resident Evil director recalled, quote, what I still remember vividly is that some of them were in tears saying, quote, we couldn't release the game in Japan after all the hard work we put into it. I can say this about the work I was involved in. I can say this about films that I was involved in, but I am not doing grotesque or splatter films just because I want to express cruelty. I use them only as accents in the direction of the film. To this end, their host then inquired, quote, wouldn't it be quite burdensome to create two versions of the game, one for overseas and one for Japan, end quote, prompting to, the com to confirm, you are right. It is really hard work because we have to repair and produce two versions of the game, end quote. Quote, for this remastering, we had to merge the two versions that were being developed at the time, end quote. He recalled, 
quote, and the amount of work involved was tremendous, and it had such an enormous impact that the development period was extended, end quote. At this point, Suda declared, quote, anyway, Japanese gamers who want to enjoy this game without any restrictions should buy another copy on Steam, end quote. In response, the GameSpark interview asked, Quote, I was a little concerned earlier, but is the version of Shadows of the Damned Hello Remastered that will be distributed on Steam the unregulated version? End quote. To which Suda outright confirmed, quote, yes, it is. End quote. Adding, quote, you can play the same content as the international version. End quote. At this particular point of discussion grew to a close, the interviewer ultimately laughed, quote, you have no choice but to buy it on Steam, end quote, prompting Suda to further joke, quote, no, you see, we've made it so that you can play it on any platform, so please buy all versions, end quote. At current, Shadows of the Damned, Hell of Remastered is set to rock its way through hell beginning on October 28th for PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, and PC players. So let me give you a rundown on my personal thoughts on this. I'm glad that both of those two brought up this topic. Now, they may only be discussing for Japan, but I think this does apply to international markets as well. Games often get censored depending on what region they're in. A lot of the better content from the original release of a game often gets censored. For the dumbest of reasons, in my opinion. Sometimes it's because of the international rating system being messed up, or because they want to appeal to a quote unquote wider audience. Which honestly, I'm getting real tired of hearing this wider and modern audience thing. It's just getting on my nerves after a while. They're, everyone is not going to appeal to your game, not everyone is going to play your game. If you find a niche audience, and you cater to them the right way, within reason, they will rain money upon you. It's happened more than once. So, what do you guys think about this? Tell me in the comment section below. And, as I said this time and time, Buster Gun Doe, sign up for now. Be safe, be smart, be silent. For whatever's in the darkness, eventually comes to light. Be safe out there.